Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm making my predictions for the second night of Wrestlemania. If you missed the video for my predictions for night one, either click in the eye or it'll be at the end of the video to go see that video. For night two with the seven matches currently listed on the card, this night feels like it'll fly by quicker than night one. I don't, I don't know if maybe some of the matches just feel better to me. It's not. I don't really have an opinion either way. The both nights kind of seem pretty even. But maybe with less multi-person matches that night two will be able to go by quicker with the singles matches. Maybe they'll just get more time. Who knows? And we'll see how night two will stack up compared to night one. So now we'll get right into my predictions for the second night of WrestleMania 37. Match number one will be right where we left off last night in the women's division. But this will be for the Raw Women's Championship where we'll see Asuka defending her title against Rhea Ripley. My pick to win this match is for Rhea Ripley to become the new Raw Women's Champion. For I feel like this reign will probably end for Asuka here with Ripley getting the win. This is just the end of this reign for Asuka to maybe she can retool and get back to where she was about six months into her title reign. With her being sidetracked and going for tag titles, getting mixed in with the whole Lana Nia Jax stuff, it just feels like this Asuka Women's title reign lost some steam towards the end. And we'll see if Rhea Ripley will have a better draw becoming the new Raw Women's Champion than Asuka's had in the past couple months to where she will make this feel, uh, title feel important again. And just the feel I've been getting for the few weeks that Rhea Ripley's been on Raw, it feels like the company already believes she can be by herself and won't have to get mixed into the tag team title picture to where she'll just be defending the Raw Women's Champion against Challenger after Challenger for many, many months to come. And hopefully at WrestleMania 37, this will be the start of a great reign for a new champion. So now on to match number two. And match number two will be for the United States Championship where we'll see Riddle defending his title against Sheamus. My pick is for Riddle to retain the US Championship. My thoughts on Sheamus are, it doesn't seem like many people kind of care about him. He had a great match against Drew McIntyre where those two just went at it and it was a good time. But it seems to me every week on Raw, more and more people online, since there aren't any fans in attendance yet, seem to get more enjoyment out of what Riddle does with his scooter gimmick thing he has and when he allegedly forgets lines and knows what to do there. To me, I just don't see the point of Riddle losing the US Championship in this match, and that's why I think he'll be the champion after WrestleMania. So now on to match number three. And match number three will be for the WWE Women's Tag Team Championships, where I have Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler putting their titles on the line against the winners of the Tag Team Turmoil match from night one. And spoiler alert here, my pick from night one to move on to face Jax and Baszler is the team of Lana and Naomi. And I believe that if Lana and Naomi, or if Carmella and Billy Kay get added and they win, whichever one of those two teams wins, wins. I think they will become the new women's tag team champions and beat Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler. In the case of Billy Kay and Carmella, if they win, this will start a new partnership where Billy Kay takes over the Somalia role for Carmella here and they'll start on good note becoming champion. And for my pick to be here, Lana and Naomi, I think this is just the ending of the story of Lana finally overcoming Nia Jax and taking the tag team titles away. And that would be the start of a new leap for Lana to where she's away from Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler and can start something new in the women's tag team division. So now on to our next match. In match number four, we'll see Kevin Owens taking on Sami Zayn. From final battle in Hammerstein Ballroom, to WrestleMania at Raymond James Stadium, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn have pretty much done it all now against each other. And in this match of Zayn and Owens at WrestleMania, I think Kevin Owens will get the win. The role Owens was on before Royal Rumble was something that needed to happen where he was legitimately could have been in the main event against Roman Reigns. He could have been the guy. But then after the whole Tribal Chief thing ended and he kind of got off of there and then Daniel Bryan popped up and he was now fully just the third guy and Ed was in after winning the Royal Rumble, Kevin Owens has now moved on to Sami Zayn. And I think it would be the wrong choice to have Owens lose considering the momentum he's been on for the past four or five months. And I also wonder about this match, what Logan Paul's involvement will be to whether he could help Sami maybe win or will he get in the way and cost Sami to which Sami will flip out after the match is over. But when this match is all said and done, I believe Kevin Owens will be the victor. So now on to match number five. And match number five will be our match burned into history where we'll have The Fiend taking on Randy Orton for hopefully the final time. This match to me feels like The Fiend has to win. And that's why he's my pick in this match. I just don't see this feud ending if Randy Orton wins because The Fiend's not going to disappear. He's not going to go away. He'll be back whether burned, reincarnated, whatever. But I think the only way this feud ends is if The Fiend puts Randy Orton down for the 1-2-3 and gets the victory. We could see Randy Orton disappear for a couple months. He's been running 
wrestling the whole time of the pandemic era here on Monday nights, and a loss here at WrestleMania could write him off and help The Fiend look better in the long haul. Also this match, if a draft were to happen in a few weeks, because we know those just kind of pop up out of nowhere, the loser of this match feels like they could be drafted to the other show to be away from one another for hopefully a full year. And I think that The Fiend will rid Raw of Randy Orton here. So now on to our co-main event of the evening. And this will be for the Intercontinental Championship in a Nigerian drum fight where we'll see Big E defending the title against Apollo Crews. So this match has a few question marks raised around it for me. Like what is this match going to be? Is this just a hardcore match with a special weapon as the name? Is this going to, this can't be pre-recorded. And is the objective could be just to use drums? Is it beating your opponent through with the drum to get the win? How do you win this match and what are its rules and regulations here? But I feel like regardless of the rules and regulations of this match, we will have a new Intercontinental Champion, and his name will be Apollo Crews. I think with Apollo Crews changing to this new gimmick that he's having on WWE television, I think him ruling over the Intercontinental Championship will be the way to go and could add something great to him to where he can maybe become a new player on SmackDown in the months later. And I think for Big E, with him losing the Intercontinental Championship in this one, he could be moved up to the main event, or he could be moved up into the Universal Title Mix, or maybe, if this fictional draft that I have in my mind happens, he moves over to Monday Night Raw and the New Day could potentially reunite. So now we'll move on to the main event of WrestleMania. And this will be a triple threat match for the WWE Universal Championship where we'll have Roman Reigns putting his title on the line against the winner of the Men's Royal Rumble, Edge, and Daniel Bryan. Now in this match, I fully believe we will have a new Universal Champion when it's over. But who would it be? Could it be Edge, where he comes back after his whole hiatus with his comeback, all the injuries he's had, and become the new champion and dethrone the Tribal Chief? Or will the man who has been screwed over 75 times, it feels like at this rate, kick Roman Reigns from the head of the table? My pick in this match to become the new Universal Champion is Daniel Bryan. With the way Daniel Bryan's story has been told, where he's been hoodwinked, bamboozled, led astray, run amok, and flat out deceived in all of his runs at the chance for the Universal title, this does makes the most sense to me to where the underdog overcomes the odds here and becomes the new champion. Now if Daniel Bryan were to win the title, this has me wondering what would be next for Roman Reigns? Does he go for a rematch? Does he switch shows? And what happens with Edge? Because I mean technically Edge isn't fully on a show, like he's not designated, so does he jump back to Raw and go for the WWE title? I have no idea, but all I know is if Daniel Bryan were to win this title at WrestleMania, this could potentially be the last time, or the last run, for Daniel Bryan being a world champion in WWE. So that'll do it for my predictions for Night 2 of WrestleMania. If you didn't see Night 1's video, go back and watch that. And if you like this video, hit the like button. If you like what I'm doing on this channel and want to see more, hit the subscribe button. And as always, thanks for watching.